What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new White Dwarf issue 94. Now, we know there wasn't anything like super crazy big coming out this week. We knew it was all going to be Chris Christmas bundles and holiday, you know, paint pots and, you know, mugs and things like that. But I actually personally did not have high hopes for this issue. But let me tell you what, this issue is the truth. If you are a hobbyist and you want like a one catch-all volume for quick reference for just about all the hobby basics out there plus a really great uh, paint recipe guide stop watching this video and run down to your local store your local g-dub store and pick up this white dwarf because this white dwarf is literally one for the ages it is the truth and I think everybody out there should have this issue it is quite possibly uh, an amazing issue and definitely the best of this year and I I just cannot say enough good things about this issue but before we get into all that I would like to remind you to stay in the trenches make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel check out the blog spikybitsblog.com and head on over to the longwar.net that's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content early access videos and more become a veteran of the long war today so like I was saying, this issue is just jam-packed, full of hobby goodness, plus there's an exclusive mission for the Horse Heresy where they super combine two players worth of tiles, or two box sets worth of tiles, to make an epic mission of ridiculousness, because that board is huge. <laughs> First off, it's about, I would say it's about probably bigger than this whole surface area here, uh, if I zoomed out. So it's definitely a large kind of uh, format thing not quite a 4x4 four four, but I would say it's probably right around the realm of a, of a 3x3 three three, maybe a, maybe a 2.5x2.5 a a give or take but let's jump right into this because I am super excited if you can't tell by now about this issue itself so first off is some of the new paints and lo and behold it looks like the Citadel Shades now come in bigger bottles and they're $7.50 now retail in the United States so they're a little bit more I think that's basically three and a half dollars more or they might have gone up to four and a quarter I don't know I can't keep track of their little incremental price raises but either way they're, they went up about three bucks but you know you get more in here now I haven't run the numbers exactly uh, potatoes to, to potatoes like how much you get I think it was uh, 16 ounces let's see if they say in the back now, how much you get based on these new ones? Paint pot, uh, to do, to do, project paint set, liquid, uh, dry paints, dry set, Citadel shades, twelve colors, twenty-four milliliters. I think they were six. I want to say they were sixteen milliliters in the past. Well, you know what? I got like a million pots of paint right here. Let's find out. I can dig right into here. Uh, let's see. They were. Oh, they don't say on them. Well, that was really nice of them. Nope, here it is, 12 milliliters. So it's basically a double bottle. Hmm, interesting. So it's a double bottle for not quite a double bottle's worth of price, which, I mean, I, I can get behind that. I mean, it's less time. Um, but for me, I feel like it's more uh, <laughs> more to spill uh, all over the place because I know the one time I'll be like, oh, I just need a little bit, and I'll leave the, leave the top open and poof, everywhere. And I'm like, that was my last pot of known oil. No, <laughs> but you know how it goes. And then there's the new Citadel Dry range. Now a couple of them are making returns, like you know, for instance, I believe this brown, the Vermin Lord Hide is coming back. But there's a couple that are new too. So it's kind of like this pick and choose kind of thing. Of some stuff went away, and some stuff's new. So <laughs> that's why I think they included uh, this really great guide in here, which we'll get to in a second. And there's you know all the all the new releases we had heard about, like basically the backpack case, which is kind of cool because you can put your new Citadel foam cases in it, the water pots making a return, the Citadel ID tags, those, those were always pretty pretty neat, I kind of liked them. Now the project box is in back, but it's got the project paint set in it, where you get 49 paints, some brushes and things like that, and you know, just the box itself, and I think the box itself was a lot of, was, I want to say it was like 50 bucks or so, so it doesn't seem too bad of a deal for, for all that, and then a new rangefinder uh, tape measure kind of thing, and some books, and different things like that. Now what I, what I really want to rave about is the whole painting system, where they kind of start just boom, just get in there and just really breaking it down, obviously they want, they want you to buy all this, you know, the paints and the overpriced uh, Citadel tools, they are overpriced, they are the Cadillac of all. Uh, modeling tools out there but obviously you can find much cheaper alternatives uh, pretty much anywhere you go 
But, you know, if that's your thing to, to pick those up, that's your thing. You know, we're not going to knock you. But there is alternatives. Always keep that in mind for sure. So they, they break into the basics, you know, like basically how to, you know, base coat, wash, dry brush, layer. Like I said, this is the ubiquitous guide to the hobby, I feel like. And then they break down the brushes, the undercoating. This is all stuff we've seen in videos in the past. But then it really starts to get good. because So they show you, one, the technique, uh, base coating, which is basically, you know, hey, here's your horse heresy models. Um, let's paint them up ultramarines and there you go and they have the really great um, they show you later on this is just base coating but they show you later on you know some of the drives and things they have then the washing and shading how to get into cracks you know how to do the whole thing basically how to use it out of the dropper right here how much to put on your brush now I don't exactly always like these brushes I like the chisel brush but you know to each their own and then it jumps in this this is actually an insert you can pull it out both the poster and the betrayal of calf um, exclusive mission and the exclusive mission like I said it's a big one uh, you know it is ginormous up in here where they basically combine uh, two box sets worth of boards which is really interesting to see and then of course you got the centerfold paint recipe fold out which is just ginormous and what I really like about it is that it's got the basing combinations right here so if you're like yo I'm trying to do Mars Earth or I'm trying to do mud or I'm trying to do dust you know it gives you all of that right here the special effects the glazes then all your metallics on up to some of the different things like you know just basically you want to go from light to, to, to reds to yellows to blues to all the metallics and things like that and it darks down at the bottom so like I said grab this issue pull this thing out and put it right next to your paint you know your paint station because just being able to look up at these at the inspiration from all of these different things is pretty huge I feel like alright so then we get to some some top tips and things like that then what I really liked was the dry brush. I like how they show you exactly how much paint is supposed to be on here, then the technique itself, then some more pro tips. So they go into each section, they give you some pro tips, and it's just it's just really good. It's it's a really good issue. I was really smitten by it. And that's you know, that's the majority of the issue, and then they sneak in some Age of Sigmar here at the end. But and actually and then they go over the new releases. But I mean, man, it's just it's just such a good issue. There is so much in here that's just it's just jam-packed for the hobby you know every hobbyist out there I feel like should really think about picking up this issue because it's not an expensive you know twenty thirty dollar guide to uh, painting you know that you have to pay to get to get all these different things it really is a hobby centric kind of issue I feel like for everybody out there and no matter what your skill level it doesn't talk about a lot of the new releases but it does have um, you know just a lot of good information and I feel like it's I feel like it's a really good thing now we're hearing that there's gonna be you know some new releases you know some uh, Farsight some Tau the Monka book and now we're hearing all these other things about Tyranid so who really knows what's gonna be out I guess it would be to go on pre-order next Saturday which would be the 21st for delivery on Black Friday weekend which would be the 28th um, that's always a big holiday here in the States at least you know at least for shopping and hanging out with your fans and uh, watching some football and eat some turkey and things like that so it's gonna be a really exciting time I feel like for the hobby because we all got the horse heresy now there's uh, hopefully another expansion on the horizon you know coming out um, as far as the towel goes if you haven't checked out my good guy g-dub video already it's a kind of like a little rant kind of thing about how I think Games Workshop's making the right moves. This week they're bringing back specialist games, so hopefully we'll see, you know, Mordheim, Epic, Blood Bowl, hopefully, you know, some of the really more um, kind of, I guess, avant-garde kind of stuff that they had in the past. We're not really sure. We haven't heard either way, but those are the big ones that they promised were coming back. Continued support for Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. You know, so it's a really exciting time for The Hobby, and then you see this, uh, this issue come out, and it's really... Um, you know, I, I, I just feel like it's a really exciting time. It just, it really just makes me want to just get out my paints and, um, and, and really just work on some models be between the heresy stuff, the great little heresy game, Betrayal of Cal that comes in the box and just all the stuff on the horizon. You know, it's just a really, really exciting time. I cannot think of a time where I've been, um, more excited for the hobby. Um, because there's all this stuff coming out we saw you know we even saw the the blood angels you know that that new chaplain and the two pack of the imperial guard uh engine seer and the commander that comes with a lehman ross you know for 75 bucks like it's just all this stuff all kind of happening at once it's it's just really exciting to me and i hope 
that um, you guys are motivated and excited out there too for the hobby because I, I can't think of a greater time uh, for the hobby that that in any recent memory personally so um, I'm just really stoked so make sure you head on down to your local GW store or friendly local game store pick up this issue because I think this will be a really good quick reference to have up on your desk next to your codexes and things like that hang up your poster you know just get those hobby juices flowing because now is the time man it's just an exciting time all together uh, that's it for my review of White Dwarf 94 thanks for watching Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.